red, black, tiger stripes. Herrera in the red with white. He's regarded here as the puncher, and Herrera's gonna box, but Garcia boxed very well against Matisse when he was... As Herrera moves in, working the body, and on the exit, it was Garcia who... Herrera's 23 previous fights have lasted 162 rounds, averaging... Walking down the challenger. It was an interesting fight, and never really been hurt, and he was hit with big punches by Provodnikov and Alvarado. So he goes downstairs with a right hand to the body. And that left hook, you'll have to watch Garnudis. Well, his right hand's not bad either. The two best punches Garcia landed this round thus far have been... Herrera again attacking the body with the jab. That's it. Committed. Here against Jihoon Kim. And but round two begins. Sorry, Mauro, but... Little sh baby shots. As Garcia tries to load up some left hooks here. Jab. So Garcia's fight is all about positioning. He wants to keep himself in punch position at all times. Well, this is where Herrera is probably going to be most comfortable at close quarters in the clinch as the jab are connected midway point of round number two. There's a triple jab by Herrera. That's what he wants. Those are the kind of numbers he wants to see posted. And Garcia's head just... Defense there, he slipped the right hand. His jab is working overhand, over time, and he's showing you a combination. Garcia's whole game is to maintain positioning so he can set up the big bombs. He likes to be comfortable. The last one was a rabbit punch. But a veteran move by Garcia. You see, he caught the jab of Herrera. Herrera coming in close and again with the jab to the sternum. You know, Herrera... One more fight at 140 before moving up to 147, where, of course, the big prize is... So while we last round showed Herrera with an edge in the jab department, when it comes to... The They're keeping yes. Danny busy. They're keeping Danny from setting things up. Look, Danny, out of frustration, I mean, Danny is a good enough fighter to cut... wanted out of this fight. He wanted to make it uncomfortable. He wanted to make it ugly for Danny Garcia now. So it's hard for him to land those counter punches. Garcia, a lot of times, walks you down and doesn't give up ground. Terrence Crawford, who earlier this month defeated Ricky Burns to win the WBO lightweight title, and here comes her. Man, Garcia cuts off the ring a little bit here, and that's what you want to see. And Herrera remain at close quarters with punches in the clinch. Herrera gets off to a fast start again, attacking the body with his jab. Sometimes it's good just to get back to the basics a little bit and reset. You know, I may not intimidate it. He's in this fight, and he's here to to try and go. To the solar plexus by Herrera. Garcia just misses with the left hook. Double on better power punches this round, but hasn't landed a lot of them. And, you know, he's a left. Nice jab from Herrera through the guard. Lead right hand. Again, Herrera just firing off that jab twice, ducking underneath him with the own jab. And he has, Herrera has made 40 pound crown against the gritty Mauricio Herrera. His lack of amateur background helps him because he's off rhythm and doesn't fall into predictable patterns. And as I said, he's fought on this high level, so he's a handful in there and he's showing his hand. He wants to get there. And that's where Garcia is a counter puncher. He's different, yes. he's a different kind of counter puncher than most people. He'll really know how to find that distance to counter punch. And Herrera doing a good job momentarily cutting off the ring, perhaps. Again, Garcia trying to keep his design by Garcia. Although Herrera could have cut yes. the ring off there. I agree. He's oh. he's been wanting to make careers here. Yep. Although you could feel the urgency on Angel okay. Garcia's part, so he's not. This is what the left hook is again. Herrera able to smother the champion's oh, oh. offense. But right before that, again, it was boring. Mentioned earlier, after four rounds, okay, two, it, one judge had it a draw, at 38. The scorecards, uh, mine, Steve Farhood, and Paulie Malinaji. So that is watching this fight. Close quarters. Just past the halfway point of round number six. Hard into every punch, and it's hard to catch a guy like Herrera cleanly when you're throwing everything hard. Good one. I had it 39 38 after four because I scored the fourth round 10 10. Okay, all righty. Other than that, he's been walking down Garcia. For a good chunk of the fight now. The no. Jab, there's Herrera Garcia looking for that left uppercut. He flashes the jab, walking in qu on quite the roll, having fought Kerner, former champions at six of his last seven. This, even roughing him up a little bit. The only thing Herrera could probably do better here is. There's a jab by Garcia. Garcia wants to get going. He wants to get that. It's proven to be very effective for the challenger Mauricio Herrera thus far in the first half. Sean Porter for his welterweight title coming up on April 19th. And if you look at there, he smothered Garcia. Garcia was looking to hold his ground and counter, but by the time he got his punches off, Herrera was already in his. Continuing to stick that jab and frustrate the champion. 
And you know, this is a pretty... Now the crowd beginning to cheer on Danny Garcia, maybe seeing some life Line of round number seven. It's been a very tough fight thus far for the champ. And Black, the challenger, Mauricio Herrera, in the red with white, round eight. Unofficially, it's not that they've been blocked, but how many of those? That's a punch that not off, you don't see all the time. So that we shouldn't question well, the judges. That's, that's, yeah. that's another question. I think it has anything to do with, well, with it, the jab being it, scored. It, it, going back to what Angel told Danny, slipped over to the left. The problem is here, it, you, it worked. Oh, becoming a little restless with what they're seeing from the champion who's trying to get on track. Seconds of round eight. Champion Garcia using his footwork, attacking the body with the left hand. Misses with that leg. Those body shots when they're given to him. You know, Isaiah Herrera is not cutting the ring off uh, as he can step to his right. Round number nine, Herrera with a cut under his left eye, cut for the second time in his career. We talked about the rounds, and I think they've been very close rounds. He's not been able to counter quite as effectively as he would like. That it, it made Garcia jab at the wrong time, and the overhand right count. Things that will usually work won't work, so you got to get back to your basics. Garcia trying it at times with the jab. Here as he continues to use that jab to keep Garcia at bay. Garcia sticks the jab, however. Because he's coming in head first. He's getting underneath the left hooks. That's why the left uppercuts are working more. I would have thought that Lucas Matisse was going to be less effective at walking down Danny Garcia. Down is because Danny cannot figure out how he's being set up. No matter how hard or soft the puncher fight. Down for the challenger as Garcia wants to try to steal it in the final seconds of the round. Round 10 underway. Steady stream of jabs from Herrera. Uh, and our score during that same period of time, we had it 77-75. Here, it's a shame one of the judges is missing it. He's so close in the ring. Yeah. Well, what, what, a, what a shame. Another jab, Garcia leading with the left hook. Misses with the left hook upstairs. Herrera in the... Garcia getting that hook in from time to time. He lands 45 seconds of the 10th. Nails him with the right. And that's what... That three-punch combination. Yes, in Bayamon, Puerto Rico. We are headed to the championship rounds. Garcia scoring was. One judge had it 78-74 for Garcia. One that indicates it's certainly well within the parameters of either man winning. And that's 78-74. Pushes him back with the jab. Garcia going for more this round here. He's stepping up. Oh, it's not nothing that's going to really do a lot of damage, but still annoying. And enough to be far ahead of Pauly than I have. This would be very interesting. What was otherwise a good round for Herrera now. He may be giving it away to Danny Garcia in these. Oh, and Herrera with those left hands. And this. Sights here in Puerto Rico. Garcia lands the left counter right for them. Herrera stalking Garcia along the ropes. Garcia coming forward and clinching. And the body said yes, but also the right hand. But you're right, he was ready for that. See, Garcia pushed him off there to create some, again, pesky style, just a disruptive rhythm. Right hand to the body, left hand. 89 for Garcia. So you see how close this fight should be on the scorecard. Just there's a right hand through the guard by Garcia. Round, yeah, I think, him. is, is very really close. The challenger showing plenty of go. Final 45 seconds of the championship fight. A couple of rounds ago. Final 30 seconds. Hook right. Straight right hand for 140 pound championship. Will Danny Garcia retain the title? A majority decision win remaining undefeated as he